born in Sudan, I never got to see Ethiopia the way you did. So I never truly understood what family means to you. I can only imagine the conditions you lived in. Did this make you the strong woman that you are today? You always said living in Sudan was one of the most significant moments in your life. The struggle of being in a foreign country, not knowing their beliefs, customs or laws. I love hearing your stories. You tell me it was so hot. You could not sleep inside and sand was constantly in your face. Everyone valued water and friends became family while chatting over Bunna. Mulu Tsurune. It's a mark for full of goodness. I can see the sadness in your eyes. Raising a child single-handedly, but somehow you got through it with a smile on your face. On that winter night of 94, you landed in Adelaide. A baby in one hand, a passport in the other, and the weight of our future on your shoulders. Melbourne is different. Everything is bigger and better. If you look at us now, you'd never believe what we had to overcome to get here. I've learned many things from you. That Ethiopian coffee doesn't actually taste that nice. That listening to music is good. And that wearing a puffy red and purple suit, especially next to a woman in an afro, is downright wrong. Most importantly, you taught me family is the key to life. Family is everything. An abundance of thank yous. Thank you for everything. We may fight and argue at times, but I want you to know that I love you. Now and forever.